Hey guys, this is Kevin from Ramshard, and today I'm going to show you how to connect to your server via an FTP client like FileZilla. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is if you do not have an FTP client, I suggest using one called FileZilla. So to go download FileZilla, you can easily just search on Google FileZilla, and then you want to go to this right here, FileZilla-project.org, and this link will actually be in the description. So you want to go ahead and click download FileZilla client. Now if you have Windows, you're going to want to go ahead and click this big green download button. But if you're running like Mac OS, you're going to want to go ahead and click these right here. But since we are running Windows, we're going to go ahead and click this button right here. So upon opening FileZilla, you will notice right here and right here. Right here is where the server files will be. This is your desktop files right here. Now there are two ways to connect to your server. There is a quick connect and then there is a way just to add it so you can just connect to it later on without having to re-input any of your data. Now I'm going to show you how to do both of these ways so don't worry. So I'm going to go and show you the first way to connect to your FTP server with FileZilla. And to do that you're going to want to go out into the top corner and click file then click on site manager. And from there you're going to see a bunch of grayed out options. But to add the new site or your Minecraft server in this case you want to go ahead and click new site and you'll see that it highlights up here this is where you can set the name I do highly recommend setting a name for it so in the future if you have multiple servers you'll be able to know which one is which and this is going to be my tutorial server so I'm going to go ahead and name that and I'm going to click enter and over here you'll see a bunch of empty options you want to be sure it's on FTP to find this information right here you are going to want to go ahead and head to your control panel of your server and to do that you just go ahead and go here onto which server you want to add so you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff here now to get to the information for FTP to this left hand side on the files drop down you want to go ahead and click on that and then you want to go ahead and click on FTP file access and when you get to this page, you're going to see your FTP address, which is actually the same numerical IP as your server, but the port is different. You also see your FTP username, and then you have your multicraft password, which is used for the FTP database password. Now this is the information you're going to want. Select this and copy it into your site. And the port you want to fill in 21 and if you don't fill in a port for regular FTP file transfer it'll automatically assume that you are using port 21. Now for this you're going to want to have this selected. On your login type you want to have normal selected so you can go ahead and enter, insert your username. You can just go ahead and copy and paste that in. And your password which you just want to go to your client area and get your password for your panel if you don't have it written down. And then you can either go ahead and directly just connect, it'll automatically save this, or you can just click OK, which will just save it in there and you connect later. And you do the same process to get back to it. And then you can either double tap on it or you can click the connect button when you highlight it. And you will see here that you have the same files here as you would see in here. You would want to use FTP when you say upload a world file or upload custom jar files and even mod packs that you want. Okay, and the second way to connect to your FTP database is through the quick connect option. This is very useful if you just need to connect with one or once or twice, not really worried about often using it because you mainly use a file manager that is built in. So this option, it's pretty much the same process. You're going to want to go ahead and go into your control panel. To the left, you'll see a files drop down box. You want to click that. Then you will want to click on FTP file access. And from here, you will see your FTP address, the port, the username, and you're going to use your multicraft password to connect. So you want to go ahead and just copy your FTP address over here. And you'll notice it is the same numerical address as your server address to connect through Minecraft, but the port is different. So to do that, you just want to go ahead and open up FileZilla again and just paste that in there. You want to go ahead and copy your username and you want to go ahead and paste it into here. And for your password, you just want to go ahead and copy over your password and you're going to want to paste it in. And then for the port, you will want to put 21. But if you don't put a port or if you get to put the port, when you click Quick Connect, it'll automatically assume that you're using port 21. So go ahead and click Quick Connect. And now you see the same file that, that you see on your server from your panel. And as you'll see, this is a pretty straightforward process. Anyone can do it. 
And there will also be a link in the description to an article that we have on our website that follows the same exact process of which I did. I hope that this has helped you out. And thanks for watching. This has been Kevin from Ramjard.